Aloha, YouTube. What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to episode 16 of our brand new Pokemon Ultra Moon Expanded Let's Play, where we're doing everything that the game has to offer. In the last game, we went through Route 4 and got ourselves here to Paniola Town. Uh, so if you want to check out that episode and all of the stuff on that town, as well as the rival battle that came with it, go ahead and click the icon at the top of the screen before we get started today. Now in this episode, um, we're going to continue on from here. Route 4 was a little different than we thought, so I'm uh, on the map it shows me that I'm supposed to go north of Paniola Town. That's where we're going to go. So if you're excited for this episode of Pokemon Ultra Moon, make sure you hit the like button down below. It helps out so much, and we've, we've been doing well so far. Uh, we just want to keep growing this to make it the best Let's Play on YouTube, because I think we absolutely can. Now, let's go ahead and do, I guess, a quick team recap, since this is the first episode um, on this Tuesday, I believe, this video will go up. But we have Negative Vibes are Munchlax, level 17, with Chip Away, Brick Break, Defense Curl, and Amnesia holding the leftovers. And we have Lauren, our level 19 Trumbeak, with Pluck, Supersonic, Echo Voice, and Brick Break holding the Flyanium Z. And we have Buttons, our level 20 Dartrix, with Razor Leaf, Peck, Tackle, and Ominous Wind. And lastly, we have Lindsay, our level 20 Rock Ruff, with Tackle, Bite, Thunder Fang, and Rock Throw holding the Normalium Z. That's our team for now. We are going to continue to lead with negative vibes um, so that we can... But we don't over-level too much. Paniola is a small town, all right? I went by... I went by... Well, we get by because we share our work with our Pokemon, and they dine with us... They dine to help us with it. I think I'm trying to read too fast. Here in our cafe space, we provide a moment of peace to our customers. I get started for you. I'm good. Folks of Paniola Ranch make up, made up all those big ramps in the field around the ranch to help their Pokemon build up strong hips and legs. You know, sometimes you seem to be alone, but you feel like someone's watching you. You think that's the Guardian watching? Alright, what are we selling over here? Repeat Ball, Timer Ball, and Net Ball. Buy five timer balls. You never know when those could come in handy. <laughs> uh, I don't really need to buy new stuff right now. Alright, let's get going. Let's explore all of what Paniola Town has to offer. I was trying to decide how much I wanted to record right now, but it ultimately just comes down to I just want to play the game. Like, these games are new. I just want to play them, so. Emiola Town, the town we developed with our Pokemon. You clear Kiawe's trials, then you can ride on the back of a real Charizard. You can actually fly through the sky. Okay, well that confirms that Charizard Fly is still in. Speaking of Kiawe, this is Kiawe's Magmar knows when to use Ember, Flamethrower, or Fire Blast to get the strength of the fire just right. Super helpful when I'm cooking. Okay, good. I was curious about that. So, there's going to be a certain number in order to get each Pokemon, I would imagine. Pulled out a nice quick ball from somewhere. Nice toasty quick ball. Alright, um, one of the... Bed looks fresh and clean, but you can still detect a faint, faint whiff of sweat. Leave their computer on? Oh. 100 Volcanic Vistas of the World. It introduces volcanoes from various regions. Recently, Mount Chimney and Reversal Mountain have been popular. Shoutouts to... Shoutouts to references of other games. This is the front. That's that. This is actually uh, Kiawe's house. I think I said that a second ago. Yeah. We'll come back there when we go to battle him whenever that happens. 
Oh, why, hello there. Why don't you take a bottle with you? Oh, okay. Just purchase some moose moo moo milk out here. Come again tomorrow. Oh, look at that munch like of yours. It weighs over 110 pounds. You should watch out for this move called Grass Knight. It does more damage the heavier the target is. Luckily, you can check out the weights of your Pokemon and like that in your Pokedex. Whoa. Hey, hey, hey. Stop it. Yo, 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 Fulpix, give me that bottle cap. <sighs> Please stop. Ah. What you looking at? What this Pokemon need a nice bottle cap for? I'm just going to put it to better use, that's all. Hey, you better stop. I will end you. You there, do you think you could help? Oh, yeah. Definitely could help. I could help, for sure. You want a piece of meat? I'll show you what happens when you mess with Team Skull. Whatever they did. You know what, Team Skull? Picking on people. Not cool. You're lucky this is all you have. But I was thinking about hitting that goosh. Goosh! Goosh! But I'm not gonna do it, even though I just did it. That reminds me of the anime episode not too many episodes ago where uh, they were doing their Z poses or whatever, and Kiawe did his and actually activated his Z move and blew up the whole place. You got me! And I guess I shouldn't have messed with you. Yeah, you should know by now. There's a guy. It's me that you shouldn't mess with. It's all your fault, just because you wouldn't hand over that bottle cap. Enough of you, boy. Yo, you got lucky, Vulpix. Don't count on people to help you next time. Oh, thank goodness. Everything's going to be all right now. Turn to the left. Just run away? Oh, dear. What's wrong? It'd make this old lady happy if you come back tomorrow, too. What? It'd make this old lady happy if you'd come back tomorrow, too. So we're just not worried about the... Is that a wild Vulpix? Is that what we're to assume based off that? Paniola Ranch lies up this way. It's pretty far through there to get to Brooklet Hill. Apparently folks have been riding on Tauros in the Alola region since way long back. I guess you can understand how ride Pokemon became such a part of everyday life here. Okay. Everyone who works on the ranch loves a good Pokemon battle. I haven't seen any Pokefinder spot. This? Ooh, I know exactly what Pokemon you have. And I am not messing with you. This woman gave me hmm, all kinds of trouble first time I came through this game. Let's see if she has the same Pokemon. Eat, so eat well, sleep well. Then it's time for a proper battle. Is, this, is she like a veteran or... Madame Elizabeth. Madame Elizabeth. Madame Elizabeth. There we go. She does, indeed. I just hate this Pokemon so much. Someone please explain to me the appeal of Carbink. Like, I've been training up my other Pokemon. I've been trying to train up my, Snor uh, my Munchlax, but no, not for this, because my attacks were absolutely nothing. That was like a three minute, that was like a, what, 40 second? Like, I didn't even get all the way dirty. All right. That's all that we're worried about doing in refresh right now. 
Trainers Pokemon don't grow if they are left alone. Although when I eat meals, I gr naturally grow horizontally. Did you say she gets fat? Any yellow ranch, and welcome to Moo Moo Dock. Oh, you've got to be a trial goer, right? We've got some good sense of timing. Captain's actually here now, so come on. Aloe's here? Aloe is here. Excuse me. Thanks for stopping by. The moo milk from Paniola Ranch is the best. It's so rich and creamy when you use it in white sauce and other things. Hmm, I can... I say blah, 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 the taste can't even be described. Oh, by the way, since I was lucky enough to run into you here, I'll do you a little favor. See, Stoutland can sniff out items for you that are buried in the dirt where you can't even see them. When you're running around Stoutland, press B to use that Stoutland search. That's what it's all about. Get up there and try it. There's all kinds of stuff lying around waiting for you to find. And Stoutland will bark louder and louder the closer it gets to some items buried in the ground. Go all the way down Route 5, you'll come out on Brooklyn Hill. My friend Lana is up there. Say hi to her for me if you see her. I like how Lana and Mallow are confirmed to know each other. Uh... Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'm hungry. Oh, this mill tank. This mill tank trying to fight. Yeah? Sure you want some? Are you sure you want some? I wouldn't tease that one. If you do, he'll buck and kick you. Tauros are generally known as uh, Tauros are generally known as spirited Pokemon. This fellow is pretty feisty, even for a Tauros. But I guess it's not that surprising, considering how new he is to the ranch. I'd like him to train to become a ride Pokemon, but I can't even put him through his paces if he bucks at every little thing like this. Uh, who's speaking right now? I'm gonna assume it's her. I'm gonna assume it's... Yeah. I guess we'll need the mistress's self skill for this one. Is that you? Me? Ridiculous, haha. <laughs> you think the mistress is some weak little girl? Right then. It's something we call the mitra mistress. Here she is, the, mit the mistress of the ranch. Mill tank. I can't even say that word. It's not even that I can't read. It's I can't say that word. One roar for Mill tank, and even the most ornery Tauros is instantly as quiet as a little litten. Uh, if I had a litten, it would blow him away. Well, they do say the stronger the Tauros, so the Tauros is, the harder it is to control. Looks like even the mistress is having a tough time with this one. Maybe if he burns off a bit of excess energy, it'll be a little easier to bring him to heal. What do you think? How about taking Taurus in a battle? But don't hold back. Go all out against this one. I will smack him up for you. Pokemon Breeder Wesley. Oh, I'm hungry. I am very hungry. Be hungry, per se. Alright, let's hit... Oh, I thought I was leading with... Darn it. I don't want to share the experience. Wow, you actually used Pursuit. Alright, I'll remember that. I'll remember that. Look at this background. Look at this Paniola Ranch background. It looks great. It looks great. You can see the volcano in the background. Use Rage. See if you live long enough to let that do damage. Oh no, his Rage is building! Oh no! Oh no, his Rage is building! As if I'm not using one of the most bulky Pokemon. Get out of here. Now you listen next time someone tells you to do something, you dang Tauros. 
My stomach just growled for three seconds. Okay. Ah, refreshing. Yeah, I've got to get some food after this episode. Woo! Looks like you worked up a fine sweat. I think Tauros feels pretty satisfied, too. <laughs> Alright, you, you two can calm down back there. Even Tauros couldn't stand up to the combined powers of the pair of you and Miltank. Thanks, sweetie. Just what we expect from the ranch's mistress. Wait, I assume that that's switched. Thanks to you, I think we can finally start calling start on this fellow's rally Pokemon training. So I hope you'll take this scope lens for me. Give it to a Pokemon to hold and its moves will be more likely to land its critical hit. Sure. Ride Pokemon, even people who aren't Pokemon trainers can, can enjoy a convenient life. I'm sure there are a bunch of... Oh. Seems to be curious about Stoutland. Whoa, what's going on over here? This one also has... Okay, yeah, they're doing a thing. Yeah, they're doing a thing. Found a repel. So, obviously, like, there's gonna be a bunch of items here, because they want you to, like, eat Stoutland. Found a random Moo Moo Milk. Moo Moo? Oh, Fooey, this rock ruff that my friend traded me won't obey my commands, all because I don't have that many stamps from the Kahunas. Are you curious about why there's a huge ranch instead of a big city right slap in the middle of Akala Island? Yes. Oh. This area, which is called Paniola, is a very old place in the history of Pioneer Alola. When our ancestors drifted into the islands and drifted to the islands in Alola and decided to live here, land was not habitable. So our ancestors developed the land with their Toros, just as they did before they came to Alola. They kept the most fertile land as a ranch so that they wouldn't forget their gratitude for Tauros. Okay. I can tell how many times you've had opposing battle... I can I, uh, I can tell how many times you've had opposing Pokemon call for help during battle. I use a mysterious machine that an enigmatic man gave to me. I can tell you... I can tell your opposing wild Pokemon have called for help 14 times. Wild Pokemon, they'll call for help when they're backed into a corner, for example when their HP goes down. But when a Pokemon with a status condition, such as being poisoned, paralyzed, or asleep, won't call for help. It's between you and me. There may be some Pokemon that you'll never encounter unless they are called on by help. Here, take these adrenaline ones. Using an adrenaline ore makes wild Pokemon more likely to call for help. And that's Paniola Ranch. Come on. Mud break. My Munchlax, my Munchlax probably can't run away from stuff right now, can he? I need to heal, do Go heal real fast. I wasn't expecting there to be a dedicated Paniola Ranch area. You know, I I understand what people are saying when they say that these games seem just like, I guess, DLC, but it's not. Like, I would say that this is what maybe the original Sun and Moon should have been. It seems like this is just the finished version of the game. It seems like they weren't ready for it. Um, they weren't ready for actual release. And they were just trying to, like meet their little three-year deadline thing. So, I mean, they... Like, they did a decent job on it, I suppose. It's like...
Uh, okay, I'm, I'm... I'm not gonna Stoutland search all the time. It's just that I just got Stoutland. So now, I guess I'm gonna search for him. I guess I'm gonna use him for, like, this episode or so. Um, I suppose I can try leading with... Oh. This is what I meant to do. So I don't know how it's full that. Are you raising Pokemon? No. Isn't everyone that lives in this world raising a Pokemon? To some extent? To some extent, isn't every trainer raising a Pokemon? Or they at least have a Pokemon? Let's look at little Munchlax. Alright, this is probably going to be a three hit. Oops, I hit the wrong move. Oh! Alright, well, I'm going to switch. Okay, I definitely just used the wrong move. Hey, don't crit me! Smack him up! Ah. Okay, well, that, that unfortunately did not work. Alright, so you're using double kick. No. I guess I'll go to one. If I remember correctly, the next trial, the next totem Pokemon that we fight is level 20. So I'm trying to stay close to that. That's like, that's kind of my goal here. Uh, right. Down you go. Woo! Hungry. Let's see if we can get to a stopping here soon. Don't actually click on Festival Plaza. Woo! Uh, am I in the right spot? All right, there we go. All healed up. Let's continue. Paralyze heal. Not worth it. All right, I've had enough. Also, I like this music way better. Way better. Now, in between episodes, I'll probably... sure you could not catch this here in the original Sun and Moon. Interesting. I've made it to the place where I have probably spent more time than anywhere else. All I'm doing is picking up hidden power. I'm not I'm not trying to get thing. <laughs> Rhyme! With the Pokemon eggs, etc. etc. Do you have an egg for me? Pokemon nursery lady. I help take care of Pokemon trainers. Lately, for some reason, I see some Pokemon holding eggs. It's mysterious, isn't it? Who wants to care for a Pokemon talk to the sister? Let me see if she just goes into the normal or if they have an egg. Daycare places, apparently you can leave Pokemon there and they'll raise Pokemon for you. We've got nurseries here in Alola, but all we do is hold on to your Pokemon. We don't help them get stronger or learn any moves, but I guess we're a little easier on your wallet. When there's something else, something about an egg. You want one of the eggs I found recently. Thanks for taking it off my hands. Don't go trying to crack it just because you can't wait to see what's inside. But I've never heard of a Pokemon egg cracking except when it's ready to hatch. 
carry a Pokemon egg around with you, it will hatch into a Pokemon. I bet it must be I bet it must feel pretty happy being surrounded by your team even before. What's in the egg uh What's in the egg? Here's some help to catch it. I'm so I'm too here's some help to catch it. I'm too curious to wait. I'll be at your service. Pokemon eggs hatch faster now. How much faster? Are we talking like I'm kidding, I'm not gonna do that. Alright. Well, let's talk to this mill tank right here. Fill up our team. Nice and wasted, uh nice and wasted potions that we used, but we're gonna go ahead and call it an episode right there. I think this is the perfect time to wrap up. Before the next episode, I'm going to head back to Route 4 and at least catch ourselves an Eevee, maybe a couple of the other things that are over there so we can have another member on the team. And then we will actually have six things with us because we're going to have that egg. I think it probably hatches into either a Why Not or a Togepi. I don't know if we're interested in using any of those, but we're for sure going to get that Eevee to add to an Umbreon before the next episode and maybe a Mareep. I don't know. But in the next episode, we will travel north... Um, heading towards our next trial. So if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you hit the like button down below. Do subscribe if you're new, and we will see you for the next episode of Ultra Moon, the expanded Let's Play. Until then, have a blessed day.